Hey guys, it's Nick from bonbonsai.com and today I'm going to talk about the Japanese art of growing an indoor bonsai. Now before I get started, I wanted to tell you about my bonsai book. If you're interested in learning how to prune, trim, and sculpt, then make sure you go, uh, well, sculpt a bonsai, then make sure you go to the link above at bonbonsai.com forward slash bonsai book. On, now on to the topic of today. So growing an indoor bonsai is actually a Japanese art form of cultivating miniature trees. These trees are very similar to their larger counterparts with the exception that they're grown in pots and the constant pruning does not allow them to reach full size, making it an indoor tree. The art of growing these trees is thought to have originated in ancient China, where men who were healers would grow plants for medicinal purposes. In early times, the main purpose was to display trunks in the shape of animals and mystic figures. Somewhere between the 7th and 9th century, this art form was introduced to the Japanese culture. There are many types of bonsai, including formal and informal, upright, cascade, raft, literati, semi-cascade, and forest. The indoor bonsai is available at a range of nurseries in various stages of growth, from seedlings to fully mature indoor bonsai. However, many of the mature indoor bonsai can be quite expensive. As an alternative, you can choose to grow your indoor bonsai from seeds. Generally, you can purchase kits to grow bonsai. These kits usually include a particular kind of seed, a small pod, a little bag of fertilizer and soil, a drainage sheet, as well as information you need to get started. The different kits will provide you with different instructions depending on the type of indoor bonsai that you're trying to grow. It's important to follow these instructions for the best possible growth. Watering them correctly is essential to successfully growing an indoor bonsai. Wash the moisture in the soil carefully to ensure that it does not get too wet or too dry. If you live in a warm climate, it's even more important that you keep a close eye on the soil's moisture. It's also vital to pay attention to the temperature of the room and the correct amount of sunlight. You don't want your indoor bonsai to be in a room that's too hot or too cold. You also want to ensure that it has the correct amount of sunlight. Once your tree is sprouted, you can start shaping and you know dwarfing it through an assortment of techniques. In addition to pruning, giving your bonsai a lot of love will, he will help you work wonders with growing these beautiful trees. Take some time to learn exactly how this is done, and you'll be rewarded with a beautiful indoor bonsai. Creating your Japanese garden in your own home is a great way to enhance the beauty of your surroundings and bring nature into your life. So that's all for this video. Make sure you check the link above to my bonsai ebook. And I'll be making many, many, many more videos. That's all for this one. See ya.